up you guys? This is uh, Kill Mike 84 here back again. Pretty much. Want to tell you a little about the what's going on. Um, I got a built, uh, put together the Seuss M5A78LM LX Plus. And that's actually over here. Ready to go. I just I got to back, put it together. I have to back up the hard drive because apparently it had been corrupted a little bit. So I'm going to back up. I still able to get the stuff out of there from my client. And wanted to surprise you guys a little bit. Let's see. Because I don't have a hard time to uh, control this camera. There you go. And I wanted to thank. Um, let me see. Hello everyone and welcome to Computer Tech TV. I am you our daughter in today's video. I just wanted to talk about some of the changes that AMD is making. They are stopping the shipments of the 45 nanometer Pino 2 and F1 2 CPUs. When is so you pretty much heard uh, one of my good, good cool guys channel, Computer Tech TV, saying that they're going to stop making the 45 nanometer Phenom 2, Athlon 2, excluding one processor. The Phenon 2X4 960T. And I checked it out. But anyway, I wanted to tell you uh, actually, I went to uh, looking around for this processor and, and it was able to find it at New Age for $124.99 uh, better than uh, the uh, Phenon 2X4 955. Uh, no. The 955. Um, this is a, a different, it's kind of the beginner stage of the Phenom 2. You do have the 965, and it does run a little bit hot than compared to this one. This is the Phenom 2 X4 960T. Uh, can't pronounce the name, but it's actually right here. It's actually uh, a 95 watt quad core, and it's a T version, so. I may get lucky and un um, unlock the other cores. I might get a six or five, or I just stick with the four. But I mean, this is the best value for it. Um, it is three gigs, but I checked on reviews on Newegg, and these people seem able to hit at four gigs, stable. Some people like this guy here. Saying that uh, low TB, uh, DP means low wattage, good chance of unlocking six cores, uh, chance of overclock to four gigs, six core 3.4, no requiring a bump in the the voltage or anything, but yeah. So yeah, so pretty much uh, some people get lucky, overclock to four gigs as four core 1.45 volts. It's pretty good for that. That's what I'm running this phenom at. 4.10 and this one uh, 1.4 uh, 4 gigs on the 965 so if uh, either board I use I'm gonna install it uh, most likely it's gonna be on, on this computer because I do need to upgrade it I prefer using this um, board anyway you tell my custom v, uh, cooler and I uh, want to get the actual put back my a 240 RS X, XPC rad and clean up the gunk of cables but it kind of hides it but and you put it back together so I'm gonna put it back see how that performs or just use a single rad but hopefully um, this um, this um, motherboard them and um, let's see I'm trying to remember I can't remember right now but anyway who cares right now this is uh and 75 TD. Uh, this has actually corn locker too, so this uh, will be able to take and see how far it could push it because this thing is kicking butt with the dual, this uh, Phenom 555 4.10. We'll find out. So, this is pretty much an update on what I'm going to do. I just ordered it not like maybe about 20 30 minutes ago. I'm going to see if I could do it. Just take it easy and just test it out for a month. Um, this is my first time buying a processor from Newegg and finding out about the warranty stuff and, and actually it was supposed to be $15 less, $115 instead of $124, but who cares. Um, 
it's free shipping and I live in California so I have to pay damn taxes for it a little bit expensive but whatever people say it's a little bit expensive than the regular quad uh, more than an aquatic core but dude it's a T version so it's more unlockable more pushable alright guys uh, hit the like button you guys and you have any info on this processor um, let me know because I have not seen anybody who having this or done a review correctly so or tell about the over, um, to overclocking so you guys take care and I'll see you guys soon